Check out number 11. That's for Sean Collins. He shines on the basketball court. When I play basketball, I love that sport. But the 19-year-old has had some dark days. I was only five years old. So the only thing I can remember is my dad coming in the house and just hugging me and saying, I love you, with tears coming down his eyes. He knew something was wrong. His mother? She was um, shot multiple times. Um, very painful, and it still sticks with me. Freshon's mom, Tina, did not survive. His grandmother, Mary, stepped in to raise him, his twin brother, and siblings. His grandmother? My superwoman, and she was definitely my superhero, my best friend. And Freshon hopes to make her proud. Ahead of this Thanksgiving, he's grateful. I just received a scholarship from Beat the Odd, CDF. It's a $5,000 scholarship to um, attend any college, you know, and the college I'm really love to attend is St. Thomas University. The CDF Beat the Odds program honors outstanding high school students who have overcome tremendous adversity, demonstrated academic excellence, and given back to their communities. Frey Sean is on the A honor roll at North Community High School, and he says his grandmother is the reason he wears number 11. She fought, she fought cancer so many times. And for her to get stage three cancer, it was, it was, it was heartbreaking for me. For me leaving school early, leaving practices early to go to the hospital to make sure she was okay. Holding her hand, making sure, you know, she hearing my voice 11 days after my birthday. Her final words to me was, I love you. The necklace draped over his heart holds a picture of his grandmother and mom. I'm doing the closest to my heart, and I know they're still with me all the time. And they'd be very proud of the, they'd be very proud of me and how I overcame all my obstacles and challenges and, and look forward to chasing my dreams and reaching my goals. Proud indeed. Colin says he wants to study business. Now we met him last school year and we met when we met him then he and a group of students were preparing for a tour and mock interviews with Facebook and Google. He says he came back changed. That's amazing. You know, the kids that get that scholarship, they have such incredible stories. Um, and oftentimes it's a teacher or somebody at their school that nominates him. So people around him recognize what he's gone through and what he's done. Absolutely. It was a teacher at his high school that uh, nominated him. And he's got a lot of support from his basketball coach, Coach McKenzie. Does he want to keep playing basketball or he's going to hang it up and go straight for business? He says basketball will always be a part of him. He mm -hmm. plays just like he breathes, but he didn't talk about pursuing it as a career. Well, we're certainly proud of him. Good for him. That's a great story. Thank you so much, Adrian.